Hey, this is Ryan with WebEminence.com. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm going to do a review on Vistaprint's website builder. Vistaprint is a popular company you've probably heard of. They're known for doing uh, print materials. A lot of people buy business cards there. I've actually bought business cards there myself. Vistaprint is a great example of a company that offers website services even though it's not a main part of their business. Obviously, Printing is their main business, but probably because so many people who buy printing also may need a website, they offer website services as a value add. I'm always skeptical of companies like this um, and the quality of their service because they're typically just adding it on to make another sale. Uh, a lot of times the quality of the website service they're offering is not good, and it has been true of Vistaprint in the past. If you were just to go to yellowpages.com and start clicking around some of the websites for the listings on there, you'd probably find a number of them are using vistaprint.com. So for that reason, I wanted to do this review and see how good the Vistaprint website builder is. I should note that Vistaprint just in the last year purchased webs.com, which is a popular website builder company. I never tested Vistaprint website builder in the past, but I believe since purchasing webs.com, they've kind of integrated the webs.com website builder, and so I believe their service is much better now than it has been in the past. So let's get right into it. I'm logged into my Vistaprint account where I could purchase all their printing services, but I did sign up for a free trial of their website service. So I spent an hour or two playing with their website builder and creating a website, so I'm gonna show you what I've done and show you how their website builder works. Uh, first of all, note that they do give you a domain name on vpweb.com, a subdomain. So you'll get that with any account. And you can link your own domain name to the account, but I have not done that yet. So the first step would be to click Edit Website. And that will bring you into the Website Builder dashboard. Up at the top, the dashboard link will take you back to your Vistaprint account. Builder is what we're currently on. And let's click on Theme and you can see the options they give you for your theme. I've already selected a theme and you see here I can customize some of the colors and you'll see them change live on the screen, um, the theme color and a few accent colors. And I can also change title and text. So they do give you some options for customizing your theme once you've chosen it. And you can also select a brand new theme. So this is the theme gallery and you can see the different designs that they give you is probably one of the downsides to many website builders including Vistaprint as you'll see some of the designs are you know very template based they don't look very modern and once your site is published people will probably be able to tell that it's a template and it looks a little cheap so it's a major downside to many website builders but there are some website builders out there that provide very modern themes that will look much better than these. You can click on any of these themes to quickly apply the theme or you can click preview just to view what your current site would look like if you were to apply that theme. So here's what this one would look like if I were to apply it. So if you want to apply the theme you simply click the apply theme button and you can change themes at any time. I'm going to go back to the site builder. I'm just going to keep this theme that I've been working with. Up at the top, the last link is called Pages. And here's where you'll create pages. You can click Add a New Page. You can also drag these to reorder them. And you can rename the page and change some of the settings of the page, like meta tags. You can password protect or hide it from the main navigation. So in the main area of the website builder, you'll see your website displayed live. And all these themes have pre-populated content areas. So you see here, I can click on this to change the image. And there's text entered already, so you simply click on it. And you can select this text and edit the text. All of these content elements are very easy to drag around and change the arrangement of them. So if you see, I just grab this one and move it above that heading. You can also click the red delete icon to delete a content area very easily. So overall, the website builder is very easy to use. I'll show you how easy it is to customize this image at the top. 
let's say I wanted to add my logo to the top header area here. I would click and they allow me to edit the entire header so I could select this text. Could change the font and the color very easily. And there's some other text options up here you could change. But then I would just click, it says double click to change the image. So they display images that I've already uploaded. They have free images from Flickr Creative Commons. You can add an image from a URL. I'm going to go back to my images and upload an image. So I uploaded my logo. Let's see how easy it is to resize. Looks like you just drag the handle here. To resize, that's pretty easy and they allow me to just grab the handle and center it. So there you can see how easy it is to add your logo up to the header area. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And you'll see that displayed there. I already added this picture to this slider area. You can see they give you this zoom function to zoom in to pictures. I can add more slides to this and double click to add an image. I'm not going to do that now. And there's some other settings to automatically scroll through these images at a different speed and there's some different transitions. So that's kind of a nice feature to add some animation and movement to your site using an image slider. And this content area down here was pre-populated with images and text so you could easily change these images, add different ones by double clicking and change the text here. Down at the bottom here you see widgets and these are what you're going to use to create your website and to customize the different pages with these different content widgets. So I'm going to go ahead and click on about to go to my about page and I'll show you how some of these widgets work. Here you can see I added an image and I added an image gallery here. I'll show you what that looks like when I go live. I added a Twitter widget here and I added some buttons. So these are really easy to use. You simply drag and drop them. So here I'm going to drag the button widget to this box and then I click to edit it. Can change the color of the button. I can change the text, call it button three. I can change the link where the button goes when it's clicked. So here we'll just tell it to go to the blog. And you can change the icon for the button so you can see how easy it is to add buttons and customize them. I added a YouTube video here using a widget. So any of these widgets down here you just drag and drop onto the page wherever you want and then you customize them. So there's paragraph which is just text, title which you just saw me drag to the screen, image is simply an image that you can customize, you have image and text, Two columns allows you to customize the layout of the page. And here you see I used a three column widget to customize the buttons. And you see how easy it is to drag to align the columns. Here's a video widget which I used for this YouTube video. The slideshow widget was used up above here to create this slideshow. A contact form widget which is used on the contact page. You can easily add a map using Google Maps and here's the button widget I already showed you. Down at the bottom they give you different categories of widgets so I can click on structure it's going to give me a two column, three column, a combo box which was used on the home page to create the three columns of images and text. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. This is a pretty nice feature that I don't see on too many website builders. It's a table widget. So I can drag a table up here and easily add columns and rows. And I can drag the column to change their alignment. I can type in the text here. You can also change the settings for row, border colors, turn the border on and off. 
change the header. So that's a pretty nice feature to easily add a table to your website. And like I said, I don't see that on too many website builders. There's a divider widget here that simply adds a horizontal rule with a style to it. I notice they don't give you too many different styles. They're all kind of these elegant looking styles which people may or may not be able to use. There's also a spacer widget which is kind of nice because it allows you to just add blank space and you can drag the handle to change the amount of space. If I go to the next category of widgets, there's media. We've already seen these ones except for audio. So you can easily add an audio file to your site. Under the social category, they have social links, Twitter feed, which you saw on my homepage, and you can add some other Facebook, uh, like box, comments, follow icon for Twitter, and then some share buttons. For commerce, they give you the ability to add uh, PayPal buttons. And under the other category, they give you custom HTML, which allow you to just add any HTML code into your website as a element. And then maps and photos, which we've already seen. And after you're done making all the changes to your website, you just hit publish in the upper right hand corner. And that's going to make all your changes live on your site. Now I'm going to go over to my live site on webeminence.vpweb.com just to show you what the site looks like. You can see some of the changes I made like the color to the header and the logo added to the upper right hand corner. Here's the slider image that's showing two images, one of them I haven't set yet. The rest of the home page. If you click on the about page you'll see some of the edits I made on that page. There's the map I added with the table with the two columns. Here you can see the space that was added and one of the um, spacers. Here's how the slideshow works. The Twitter widget. And there's the three buttons that I created and the YouTube link. The next page is a store and I don't have any items there but here you can kind of see what that would look like. And the blog also has no entries but here's where your blog post would show up. The next page is gallery and here you can see if you click on this album it opens a nice uh, large slideshow and people can click through your pictures. And then the last page is contact, where I have my contact form. So there's the completed website. As you can see, it doesn't take too long to get a website like this up and running. Obviously, I didn't take too much time to customize the text or the pictures. So that would probably take more time for you if you're creating your own website. But overall, it's pretty easy to use and it wouldn't take you more than a couple hours to get a website that looks something like this. The one downside, like I mentioned, is probably the quality of the designs. I'd say they're okay, but they're nothing really special. They're not very modern in their design, and they don't look like custom designs. They look like templates. So compared to some other website builders like Weebly, for example, uh, or Squarespace, those both offer a much more modern designs that are more impressive. Um, or you can get a WordPress site using WordPress themes and you're going to end up with a much more professional and custom looking website. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for those of you who are using Vistaprint or considering using the Vistaprint website service. If you have any specific questions, feel free to comment on YouTube or on my blog post if you're watching the video there. Uh, make sure to read my blog post though if you're on YouTube. Just click the link below the video. I'll share some more information about the Vistaprint website service including uh, current pricing and any other information that I wasn't able to include in the video. You can check out some of my other video reviews on website builders on my YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And also take a minute to click the like button on YouTube if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next video.